Raleigh, North Carolina. Second grader, black child, okay? Um, the ch I'm withholding the child's name, but his mother is named Amber. So the black child comes home from Hunter Magnet Elementary School in Raleigh. Comes home with white privilege sheets. He's eight, eight years old. White privilege sheets. And the sheets basically outline a 2017 article entitled, No, I Won't Stop Saying White Supremacy. The author saying that whites dominate everything, blacks don't have a chance, oppressive society, on and on. Kids eight, second grade. So the mother calls up the school and says, what are you doing? I'm, a, I'm an African-American mom. I don't want my kid. My kid's terrified. It's terrified. Do white people hate us, mom? That's what she's saying. The mother says her African-American son proceeded to ask a question about whether white people are better than him. So now the school board doesn't know what to do. And they say, oh, well, we didn't mean to give it to the second graders. They meant to print it, but they didn't mean to give it to second graders. But somehow it got to them. This is, this is indoctrination craziness. All right, I'm telling you, I report these stories now because it's like happening all over the country that you have in the school systems, grammar school, high school, and college. These people that are agenda-driven all day long. And whatever it is their agenda is, they're going to try to impose that on the students. So, it's, <laughs> you know, every time I report a story like this, then it blows up and then they recede. But it doesn't mean the problem's solved. The problem isn't solved. If they could, the school board in Raleigh at this Hunter Magnet Elementary would indoctrinate the kids saying, hey, you know, you live in a terrible country. It's white supremacy. You as an African-American child, you don't have a chance. That's the message. Victimization. The exact opposite message that Martin Luther King Jr., we talked about this yesterday, um, put forth. And now, in this country, in 2018, victims, every, all over, everybody is a victim. Everybody's attacking. And people like me who point this out, we're the biggest targets. Got to shut those people up. Because, you know, you don't make it. It's not your fault. Uh-uh. You're a victim of white supremacy. I mean, when I was eight years old at St. Bridget's School on Long Island, I, I, I don't, didn't have a lot of white privilege. I barely had, you know, socks. <laughs> we lived frugally. I didn't have a lot. You know, and the nuns were all over me. I was going to hell. But before that, the penitentiary. And I mean, it was, it was, you know. Now, the black kids back then had it worse than I had it, generally speaking. They did. I have no doubt about it. But I didn't have any white privilege. My father didn't have any white privilege. He served his country in the Navy, he got out, got a job. He didn't even like it. He stayed there 30 years, supported his family, and did what he had to do. There's no privilege attached to that. This is really annoying.